Everybody loves a sale. You don't love a sale. He doesn't love a sale. Oh, Mary loves a sale. All right. Most everybody, I don't think this gentleman heard me. That's why he didn't know. Blaine says he loves a sale. Okay. So everybody loves a sale. One thing you want to do when you're shopping for Staub is be able to get this at a great sale price tonight now or this afternoon. What we're talking about ordinarily in this five and three quarter quart Coco Van Cocotte, which is a fancy way of saying Dutch oven or baker or oven, this is nearly $200 at retail. We are $50 less this afternoon. You're going to be able to order this either in the grenadine, which is a deep, rich, dark red. We have a beautiful gray in the center, 450 in that gray. And then finally, we have it for you in a dark blue, only 400 to go around. Grenadine is the most limited, and this is customer top rated. Super excited that we can have this for you. I should also let you know that this is an opportunity for everybody to pick up a beautiful, beautiful dish made in France, enamel cast iron, basting spikes in the lid. What does that mean? These basting spikes, these little dimples, not so much dimples, but little bumps on the inside of the lid, uh, collect all the condensation from what's cooking and it rains back down on the food, keeping it nice and moist. Let's welcome in Chef Jeremy Parker, who is joining us live via Skype. I oh no, it's, it's, he's calling. All right, so he's calling in this time. Jeremy, good to have you back with us, buddy. Hey, David. Good to be back. So talk to us about Stove. Talk to us about Made in France and this beautiful Coco Van piece. Yeah, well, uh, you know, Stove is, is that cookware that are, are just revered by professional chefs. Some consider it the best cast uh, enamel that's made. And they're made in France, started in 1974, and they're made to last you a lifetime. And, you know... Uh, they are just quality cast iron. They're great for slow cooking and braising, for searing and browning. You don't get temperature drops. It retains heat. They're grilling. If you're deep frying in these, they keep the temperature where they need to be, so you don't get those dramatic temperature drops. You can bake in them, and and, and like I like how you mentioned the lid, how they self-based. They're also really heavy if you feel the weight of the lid, and that's for a reason. So that keeps the condensation inside so things don't dry out. So when you're slow cooking, they self-base themselves. I mean, this is my chili pot that I use. I use this for making my uh, bolognese sauce on it, and of course in the oven. And it is just one of those pieces that you'll have the rest of your life. You can pass them down to generations. They are made to last forever. We're making a little chicken cacciatore, and I believe we have, that's the before shot. And then we have the after right here. Let me open this one up. Oh, wrong one. Maybe it's this one. Nope, wrong one. Is it in the oven? Must be in the oven. Ah, oh, <laughs> all right, it's in the oven. Hey, Jeremy, talk to us about this yeah. uh, finial on the on the lid. Well, oh yeah, the the little rooster on there. So that's that's um, nickel. I believe it's nickel steel knob. And so these are safe in the oven up to 500 degrees with the lid on. Now, with the lid off, you have to understand that these are almost, I, I don't want to use your word indestructible, but you could put the pot on a fire, on, literally on a campfire, if you're making like campfire beans or chili. And those, the pot itself is safe up to 900 degrees, but with the lid, it's 500 degrees in the oven. And there is that chicken cacciatore. Oh. Beautifully done. Braised beef, short ribs in here, big pot of soup, chili. Chicken and dumplings, I would use a vessel like this one for five and three quarter quarts, right. all made in France. What's the best way to clean this, Jeremy? I, you know, I always clean them by hand, but because these are not, you know, they're cast iron, but they are um, enameled cast iron, so they're not going to rust, so you can put them in your dishwasher. I still just recommend hand washing these. Well, they're absolutely beautiful, and maybe you're making a little bouffe bourguignon. Because yesterday was Julia's birthday. Julia Child's birthday was yesterday. So we say a little boof, bourguignon in her honor. But um, so one of her signature recipes and her mastering the art of French cooking. So really lovely yeah. if you're doing a little boof bourguignon, if, you're do if you can bake bread in these. I mean, this is the yes. kind of heirloom cookware, Jeremy, that you're going to pass down to new generations of cooks in your family. We yeah. should also point out you're saving $50 on our clearance price today. Now, that's a good news, bad news story. Good news is we're $50 off. The bad news is when it's gone, it's gone for good. This is your opportunity to pick them up now. Here's the grenadine. Now, think about a deep, rich, dark, dark red. 
Really, really beautiful. And from grenadine, we go to the gray. And from the gray, we go to that dark blue, which is a really inky, inky, cobalty blue. Really, really delightful. All of this comes together for you at a great time of year when we're just going to be closing out summer, getting into the fall season of the year. We're not real sure what fall is going to look like or what holiday is going to look like, given the current situation we're in. So maybe we'll, we, we will be home again more. And maybe you're going to be cooking more. And maybe we transition from that barbecue inside to the stove again. This becomes that heirloom piece that we cook with over and over and over again. And the fact that we're saving you 50 bucks today, well, that's just cherry on the sundae, if you ask me. What we're talking about also is a product that is made in France and beautifully done, Chef Jeremy. This is going to be the kind of uh, pot you reach for over and over again. Right. And, you know, they have that beautiful, what they call a Mojolique coating on the outside. I, that is so beautiful. That grenadine is just gorgeous, David. I mean, I... You, you could put that out as just a piece. If you never cooked in it, it's going to look beautiful just sitting out. You know, in company that comes over, they'll recognize, oh, you have a stove. How nice. If you give this as a gift, it is the gift that they'll keep for the rest of their lives. And they'll remember you every time they cook in it. Food just comes out delicious in it, whether you're slow braising or doing corn in there or... Uh, yeah, or, or, or the beef bourguignon. And all the little condensation spikes allow all of that uh, condensation, all that liquid to come raining right back down into the food. You do a low country boil in here, perfect, no problem. If you want this grenadine color, I have fewer than five dozen remaining. When they're gone, they're gone for good. That color is striking. You're also going to get this beautiful rooster finial on the top made of nickel, so it's going to be really beautiful in the oven, no problem there. You can leave this vessel out on your stove on a regular basis, even when there's nothing in it. It's just great kitchen decoration. I love this, uh, this, uh, these colors. I love this material, Don't, and I also love this price today, so definitely pick these up. We also use the grip mitts to retrieve this from the oven, so it's really easy to do that as well. Don't miss out on your opportunity to pick those up as well. All right, Chef Jeremy, always a pleasure, sir. Yep. Thanks, David. Nice talking to you. Nice to have you back. All right, time now for a buddy in the kitchen. And we about to get real, real, real busy because this is the cooking buddy from our, our buddy, 